Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 Speedball on the channel, people. Welcome, welcome, I hope you're all doing amazing. And today we're gonna recreate or remake or rebuild or basically change the precinct of the detective career in the Sims 4 game to a mobile police station or like a camp or something like that, like a police camp. And in a bit I'm gonna give you the whole story, the background story for this build, but first and foremost I wanna let you know that this is a fully functional build. I, probably some of you are watching this and saying no, there's no chance that this thing is, is usable. It is usable and you're gonna have all the things that you need to have in the precinct or you already have in this precinct right now you're gonna have all of them in here and yes I'm talking about interrogation room, the the chief room, the uh, board, the big board with uh, basically the briefing room all the things you're gonna have in here, even a gym you're gonna have here so you definitely want to stick around, see what I'm doing, how I'm gonna do it but right now you can see me creating one of the highlights of this build basically this build, the idea in my brain was to create a mobile Mobile cam. Now, mobile cam for police station is basically bringing some trucks that each, each truck will have a different purpose. For, the, for an example, this is gonna be the like the prisoner transportation vehicle uh, and in here basically you're gonna have the cell uh, cells for the uh, prisoners. So if you are curious to know how I made the truck itself, the front part of the truck, because you probably, not probably, you saw that, <laughs> you saw how I created basically a fire truck or how I dragged it into this build and then I modified it, right? That fire truck is is a one of my old builds, like part of one of my old builds, uh, which was a fire station department that I created like two years ago. Now, if you want to see the full build, I will leave a link to that build in the description down below for you to check it, so you can see how I created that fire truck. And I, yeah, people, I share that truck to the gallery. So if you want to have the fire truck in the gallery, you're more than welcome to go to my gallery, Argitech, just like the name of the channel, and get yourself that truck. Now, what you saw me doing basically is taking that truck that I created and I remodeled it. Basically, I took the the, the half of the back end of the truck down, I tear it down, you could see me actually breaking it, and then I created this um, extra room. Now, this is gonna be the cell for the prisoners in this precinct. So, you see, the, the idea was to create the like a non-conventional uh, um, police station. It's not gonna be a building, it's gonna be a mobile police station, mobile police camp, let's call it. Now, the back, like the background story of this build is that there was some sort of a crime in this area. You're not gonna see it yet. Maybe you saw it at the beginning, I'm not quite sure about it. But you're gonna see that something or someone found something in this area. So the police department of the Sims uh, um, deployed their uh, mobile units, which are those trucks and police cars and uh, even containers. You're gonna have here, basically, I try to give the vibe and feeling of a mobile uh, a police station. So it will not feel to you as something that is solid, like not really a building, okay? So do let me know if I manage to give you that feeling. And I gotta tell you, I, I wanna talk to you about some uh, challenges that you're gonna have playing this. I do wonder if you already can think about challenges playing this build, but I gotta tell you that I play this. I play this. <laughs> I play this to this build, and it is a fully functional. You're gonna have all the things here, and you know what? I made uh, I made a list that I want to tell you exactly what you're gonna have here. So let me check it. Okay. So you're gonna have two um, two big trucks. One of them you just saw me creating, which is the prisoners truck. The other one is the one that we are right now creating, and I call it or I refer it uh, as like the HQ commanding mobile unit. Okay, over here you're gonna have um, the um, the computers for the for the uh, detectives to use the reception uh, officer, which also gonna be over there. I I'm not quite sure if you can like pick one of the tables and sign like assign it to that um, to that reception uh, police officer. But um, receptionist, reception, you know the one who takes the the. the um, civilians reports. Um, so I'm not quite sure if you can pick one of the tables, but I do know they do take one of those tables that you're gonna see uh, uh, sitting over there in a bit. But uh, but yeah, so you're gonna have that. You're gonna have the crime scene area, which is again you're gonna see in a bit. You're gonna have a gym, 
and I call it like a DIY gym and right now we are creating it. As you can see, because I wanted to really give the feeling of a mobile, uh, um, like a mobile camp for, for the police station or, or, or from the police station, um, I used a lot of the pack from Werewolves where you can see all the items that came from that pack. They kind of look like a DIY, um, uh, a DIY, a DIY, like a DIY um, equipment. So that, that was the idea. And right now I'm creating a pressing bench for, uh, uh, for more like the environment. I just wanted to give a bit more feeling and character to this build. So, uh, so, so this is the only thing in here that is not gonna be functional. Um, like in in the gym itself, it's not gonna be functional. It's only for the for for the look of it. And also, again, that thing I used in my. Uh, my gym build, the Oasis gym build that I created, again, long time ago. We want to see that, go and check it on the channel. Um, and definitely you can take some notes from this if you want to spice your gym build. That's definitely something that you can do. Uh, things like that, this, you not necessarily need to use the tool mod, but sometimes I do use it uh, just to, to make my life easier to, uh, you know, to move things. It's, it's, I'm using it for so long time now, so for me it's like, it's like using the mouse just to place items using the tool mode. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, uh, it's like breathing for me in The Sims. <laughs> I use it every time that I have the opportunity because it's just making my life easier. So yeah, right now I'm making like weights rack and, and uh, yeah. So where, where was I? So what else are you gonna have here? Of course, you're gonna have some containers. Of course, not of course, but you're gonna have here some containers that were brought here by the police because one of them is gonna be the restroom, the not public one, but like the precinct, this mobile precinct um, restroom for uh, number one, two, and of course, the showers. They're gonna be part of this container after taking uh, some work on uh, inside this gym. And right now you can see that I'm using some of the brand new clutter kit items. I really love those. I really wish that we could have those weights um, separately from the mattresses. I don't really like the, the fact that I need to use them uh, um, like with the mattress, that rolled mattress. By the way, you could see me over there kind of doing some trick to to um, to have two weights and only one mattress. If you place them one inside each other and you like you you use the tool mode to scale down the mattress to 0 0.95, 0 0.97, something like that. So the mattress is basically gonna be one inside the other and you're gonna have two weights around the mattress. Do that like six times and basically you can have one mattress and six uh, weights around it. This is just another building tip for you if you want to have more weights than mattresses using that item from the brand new kit. Now right now you can see me using um, using the, those blockers, those car blockers I think you call them, uh, parking blockers. Um, to 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 create some sort of a base for the containers. As I said, one of the containers is gonna be the um, the restroom and the shower uh, showering area. The other one is gonna be the interrogation room. People, I really don't want to spoil you the whole fun, uh, so I'm not gonna tell you how it's gonna look inside. But it's a very special design, so just stay tuned for that. Or just use the markers on the on the video. I'm probably gonna put you some timestamps so you can move between the areas. And over here, this is supposed to be like the refreshing area or refreshing zone, that's how I call it. Um, because this is a mobile area, you don't really have a kitchen, right? So I try to give the feeling of a place to just give your uh, detective, give your officer a time to, to, you know, to just hang out with, uh, with his friends, grab something to drink, maybe something to snack. And you don't have here a full-size kitchen. So what I did end up using or end up doing here is I placed one of those, what? No, I placed two of those vending machines that we got. There we go. You can see them right now. And they basically gonna be the snacking zone or the snacking area. You know, I find it is, this is one of the most fun careers, at least for me to play in the game. And I noticed that I don't really have time for my Sims to grab something to eat during the, the day because, and I, Almost every time I need to extend the day because I don't manage to finish all the things that I want to do. So I know it's, it, it is a very, I don't know, um, clutter with stuff. 
let's call it if, if that's if that's a term to use you know um like the days is very is very packed with things to do you don't really have a time to snack something so i place those uh, uh vending machines for the sims to just grab something quickly to to eat and and just keep on 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 the day of working so that's that was the uh area over there and by the time I managed to explain that to you, we are already in the restroom with the shower area. Again, this is, you know that I, I highly, like most of the time I don't even share those areas in, in my builds because I just don't find them interesting that much and they only have one purpose, you know, to, to do number one, number two and, and take a shower. So yeah, <laughs> you still had the glance on it and you're definitely gonna see it in, in the game itself. But right now we are in the second container which is gonna be the interrogation room. Now, just like an interrogation room, this is not supposed to be a beautiful room. It's supposed to be dark and and <laughs> dark and scary place. And on the other side, you can see that I divided it into two because we need um, we need um, you know like a wall to place that one-sided viewing mirror or or whatever you want to call it. And on the other side, this is the more pleasant area of the container. Because this is this is basically the, where they bring the uh, witnesses, so they can see the interrogation or someone else monitoring the other side of the interrogation. You know, so so yeah. So I divided that container to two. One is more pleasant, the other one is a bit more scary. And yeah, right now we are in the commanding unit, the HQ commanding unit. It is gonna be where you're gonna go with your evidence, or you're gonna bring your evidence over here, and are you gonna test them in the how do you call that? thing you know the analyzer I think it's called the analyzer now you can see that I place over here two analyzers at some point I change one of the analyzers to uh, the uh, how did how did how it called the one with the scientist pack the strangerville one I think and just then I noticed that it is not functional like that specific analyzer from that pack is not functional. I wanted, uh, I just wanted to have like uh, the uh, like different type of analyzer here, just to give a bit more, uh, um, I don't know, style to it. There we go. You can see it right now. But at the end, uh, it's just for for the look of it. Now, if you do want to have two of them, just make sure to switch that one with the one from uh, uh, Get to Work. Although I really wish that they could have you know, make them both do the same thing. There's no good reason. One of them is just a bit different in the look of it. Anyway, if you want, just switch it to the get to work pack. Now, of course, people, you must have the get to work pack in order for this build to function as it is, right? As a police station. So make sure that you do have it. And right now we are in the platform, that, that extended platform from the HQ uh, truck. And in here you're gonna have all the computering area. Um, you need to do all those uh, data recovery, I don't know, things, re references, cross-references. I'm not quite sure how, how you call all the things that you need to do over here. Uh, like you have all the database in the computer computers and stuff like that. So this is the zone for you to do that. Now, originally, I gotta tell you people, I tried to do that area under the sky, like the open sky. I just wanted to use some uh, shades, those uh, four poled shades. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe them. They came with the debug items in um, in the not university pack, the high school pack, and I really love them. The blue one, the blue ish one. I used them at the uh, um, refreshing area over there. But for those who playing the game for a long time now, you probably know that anything, any computer, like any computer, any electronic, basically that you put under the sky, the moment there is a grain on it, it will basically break and you won't be able to use it anymore. So I had to think a bit outside of the box and I made that kind of not great looking shade over that zone just to make sure those computers are safe and you will be able to use them in any weather. And right now you can see me creating that briefing zone, briefing area with the with the case. Uh, I call it the, the, the big board for cases. I don't know, the, the case board, I don't know, how do you call that? And from the left side area, you can see there, there's like um, the, the fingerprinting area. Um, again, this one, for an example, I'm not quite sure if it will break, if there will be like a um, rain or something. I'm not quite sure it is. But if it is, just uh, think outside of the box. <laughs> put some sort of a shade over there or something like that, but I really didn't want to hide it also underneath a shade, okay? So, so yeah, 
Now, talking about the difficulties of playing this of, of this uh, precinct, and people, I gotta tell you, this precinct is more challenging to play. It is really simple to play, because you do have individual rooms, you don't need to look for the next room, you know where are the prisoners are in the, in the track over there, you know where the analyzer is, you know where the billboard, the billboard, not billboard, the, the big board for the cases are, you know, or is, not are, is you know where the policemen and, and the officers sitting to get all the information from the computers. You know all those things. So this is quite easy to play. However, it is a bit more challenging to play if you're trying to play this in winter. The moment there is like a storm or something like that, just think about it. This build will give you really the feeling of playing as a detective, police officer, I don't know, but in a really challenging environment. Because, you know, just like in real life, those men and, and women do their work in any weather. And this will basically give you that feeling. And I think, and I gotta tell you from my testing, it was challenging but really 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 fun to play and uh yeah i really do hope that you're gonna enjoy playing this as much as i enjoyed playing it and yeah do let me know what you think about this build i i think this is the first time someone did something like this do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below right now you can see me creating those uh um well units those cars those uh police units and you're gonna have two of them one of them also i made uh previously in one of my precinct builds so if you want to see that you're gonna need to see my first policeman, uh, policeman, police station, <laughs> policeman, my first po uh, police station, go check that out on the channel also if you want to do that, and yeah, I think we are getting closer to the end of this video and this build in a bit, so I just want to let you know that this build is on the gallery for you to download and enjoy, and trade files for 30 days only in the description down below, people, make sure to get your cracked version fast. And one last thing I want to cover with you regarding this build is basically how to get this build into your game. Many people don't know how to do that and then it is super super simple so just follow my instructions. The first thing that you want to do is to have a sims signed to the detective career uh, from the iPhone, computer, find a job, you know. Then you want to bring him over to uh, to this place, to the precinct in the game. Once you are in there, you want to activate the cheat code BB Point Enable Free Build. Once you do that, you can edit the lot itself, and then you just need to grab this build from the gallery and place it on this lot. Simple as that. Just make sure to follow those instructions. And we are getting closer to the end of this video. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video uh, and this build. Subscribe to the channel for more builds just like this and others that are gonna come in the future. And until the next time, enjoy the tour and I'll see you again in the next video. Keep that team's party going for me because Architect is a signing off. Get out of